do, which is to worship God by his prayer. Come, Holy Spirit, come as holy fire and burn in us. Come as holy wind and cleanse us within. Come as holy light and lead us in the darkness. Come as holy truth and dispel our ignorance. Just remember to always be nice to one another, be kind, and treat everybody how you want them to treat you, and you'll be such a better person in our world, okay? Okay, remember that. today seeking your still small voice that it may speak to us, that it might inspire us. But Lord, we admit that our ears are dull and often we cannot hear your voice. We admit that our eyes are dim so that we often cannot see the signs of your presence. Anyway, so he's doing all these illustrations. These are analogies to get at the kingdom of God because the kingdom of God is so far beyond our sensibilities that we have to have little <coughs> pictures, mind pictures, to point to it. You can't just say it's right there. So um, the kingdom of God is the communion with God, the God's reality impinging on our lives. And this idea of heaven is that somehow in heaven then all of the things that block our viewing God's kingdom will be done away with and we will be with God truly and fully. Who is the least likely person you would, you'd never expect that might be there? Picture that person. Well, what if they're there? What if the majesty, the mystery, the wideness of God's mercy is so far beyond what we can imagine? God's ways are not our ways. You know, George Carlin said, you scratch a cynic and you'll find a disappointed idealist. I thought, that's me. That's why I like this guy.